Metadata in the context of GIS is the data about a data set. The who, what, when, where, why, and how the data were created. This is to inform users of the data, of the intended use and limitations of the data set. For example, to avoid somebody using something that you created at a broad scale for a very specific local purpose inappropriate to the data. In this example, I have just the very beginning of a roads layer that I quickly digitized on top of this old NTS topo map. The way to access the metadata of this layer is through the catalog. And we've called this Niels Roads. If I right click on Niels Roads, I can go to the item description. And that is where you view and edit the metadata. So this is where it would be if I had any. If you download a layer from the state, it should have data here, but not all layers do. To edit the metadata, you go to the Edit button here, provide tags, roads, class, example, purpose, example of metadata. So. Roads layer created by Neil. That is the who. It also covers the what. The when. The where. The why. And the how. give an indication of the limitations. Use this for nothing. It is an example only. So that is a very clear description of the limitations of this data set. It has no value whatsoever beyond how to edit this metadata, but you can give it an appropriate scale range. So you might say at the scale of the city, we consider this road to be accurate, but at the scale of buildings, one to 5,000, not so much. Definitely don't want to use this for field navigation. This is conceptual only. Or maybe you went along the air photo and really nailed that line and it's appropriate at this scale or all the way up to that scale. If you were doing fine lines, you probably wouldn't want to go past there. Hardly matters at this point. So that is how you edit. You want to save before exiting. So now you have summary, example of metadata, the who, what, when, where, why, and description of limitations of this data set to prevent inappropriate use.